Hello, and welcome back to another chapter in the Sky Blue Studios tutorial series. Following on from the previous request video, let's quickly hook up our swipe and tap input method to our camera so that we can look around on mobile. Now the first thing I want to do is just disconnect the old stuff which is down here on, the, on our player. So I just want to disconnect up this and you want to bring these up here. So obviously yours of course that is our horizontal movement and pitch is our vertical rotation as well. Um, so the first thing I want to do is obviously get rid of this uh, print because we don't need that. We'll move prior lock over here. We'll just bring up our uh, controller your and pitch inputs to here and we'll just plug them in like this. And of course we're keeping prior lock at the end as um, explained in the previous video uh, because otherwise the system won't work and it won't properly do what we need it to do. So if we just move this down here, because what we're going to do is the swipe speed is going to allow us to control how fast the camera moves. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our current uh, finger location and from it we must subtract prior lock. Let's just get prior lock. So this will give us the uh, the distance our finger has moved uh, in the last frame, basically. And uh, then we multiply this by our swipe speed, and that's the new thing we plug into it. And then we will split this into X and Y, and just plug in the X and Y here. And uh, over in our details on the swipe speed, I'm just going to change that to 0.1, because the default uh, 1 is very, very fast. So now if we compile and save go back to our map and press play if I click out again so it actually works you'll see that clicking and dragging now moves the camera it did in the previous one as well but it didn't actually do it from touch it just did it using our mouse anyway but now it actually does it from dragging and you'll see still if we move only a little bit it doesn't actually move the camera because we've still got that threshold but as soon as we move and you can see it's coming up there as soon as we move more than that, then we look around. So that concludes this tutorial on UE4. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.